Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays um, Black Mesa. So this is the um, episode two now. In the last episode we managed to find our way across this gaping chasm here from over there where that, um, those, that acid has been spat. Um, it was a rather convoluted route, involved going down in the water, swimming around, doing some jumping puzzles and so on, but that's part of the course pretty much. I now left, I then left you, is this an open door? Yes, I can open this door. Is this where I came from? I now come back and realise I have absolutely no idea where I got to in the previous episode. Let's have a quick look in here. Yep, there's something. I've probably not been this way then. Oh. At least they run away when you shoot them a bit. Ow. Except when they shoot, attack back. Right, that was a... Somewhat um, unsuccessful start to the <laughs> start to the um, episode. Let's have a look in here. See if <clears throat> okay, I clearly came from this direction, so go this way. So that makes me wonder what's down here. I feel like I'm probably going the wrong way at this point. Um, you know, I probably should have watched the. Um, the last episode and worked out what on earth I've been doing before. Right, okay, this is the bottom of that jumping puzzle. Okay, I am going the wrong way. Ow. I'm still having trouble with the ladder physics in this game. It just doesn't seem to work quite as it should. Very confused. Okay, let's go in the in what's probably the obvious direction to go, where those um, Sonic Hound things came from. So this way, and and stop trying to find random extra things to pick up. Uh oh, blowing up. Oh well, it's good fun for making me explode. Right, let's see. This looks like I've now finished this sort of, whatever you want to call this area, this sort of warehousing type area, and I'm getting in a lift to go to the next zone, to say. So I'm sure there'll be a loading um, bit up here. Yes, there we go. I wonder if this lift will actually work. The lifts in this game seem to have a dreadful habit of just failing all the time. Okay, here we go, offices. That was somebody getting eaten by a barnacle, wasn't it? Well, that's handy. There's an electric, uh, electric, electrical fault here zapping all of the um, head crabs that we're trying to get through. But I think that's also going to stop me getting through as well, unless I can go into that hole. Maybe I can, yes. There's a couple of guys over there. Come. Who's there? Oh dear. <laughs> I wonder what's going to get the other one. Presumably something is. Right, um, so I can't really do much to help them. I don't need that medikit. Can't get through the electricity. That's caused through a hole in the wall. I'm back into Gordon Freeman's favourite place inside air conditioning ducts. That barnacle has finished off the scientist. Let's open these, open these doors. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to just leave it alone for now because I don't feel like I've got enough ammunition to. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Mm, that right? sounds like more foreshadowing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll either be rescue or just large quantities of barnacles. I think it's. I thought you were supposed to be able to use these soda machines. Maybe this one's out of whatever it is it sells. Have you ever seen anything like this? So I still can't go that way. Let's have a look around here. Ah, there we go. Turn the power off. Reload. 
Yeah, all right. I notice Half-Life has that um, computer game mechanic where you have a supply of ammunition and whenever you reload it just refills your current magazine rather than wasting, wasting the ammunition that was, that was left in the, in, in the current magazine that you've just thrown away. Um, it's probably a good thing really. It get... Oh, I can't get through that door either. It get very frustrating if every time you reloaded you lost 15, 15 rounds or something. Um, through here? That wasn't what I meant to do. I don't know where the... Okay, so that door doesn't open. Nor does that one. I must have to go the other way through here. I'm not sure what the point of turning off the electricity there was in that case, because unless it's... I hear head crabs. Unless it turns off the power some to somewhere else as well that was going to zap me. Ah. <laughs> okay, that one nearly got me. In fact, it did get me a bit. Power 15%. Through here? I don't think so. I don't think. I mean. Yeah, I can smash this wood up. But it's not really helping me get through. No, that's not openable. What's, what's that? I mean, the picking up physics is very nice, but. I just keep picking up things I don't want. Right. Uh, hmm. Looks like it should be through here. I don't know. Am I missing something obvious? I don't expect this game to have dead ends like this. I, I feel there's bound to be a way through here somewhere. That's a locked door. I've seen plenty of these so far already. Are those bullet holes from a crowbar? Yes, I think they are down there somewhere. That's a locked door as well. Let's get back in here, see if there's anywhere else that I've missed. It doesn't feel right somehow. That doesn't feel like it should have been a dead end. It's that door over there which doesn't open. That's a non-opening door as well. That's some sort of safety glass, so I can't... Oh no, I can't get through. Okay. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> this is still clearly live. Let's not go in there. I don't... Ah! I grab. Oh, through. I might have to start shooting them, to be honest. <laughs> I'm clearly too bad with the um, crowbar. Not to work. Zombies, on the other hand, are very barbable. <laughs> Not sure what scientist was doing with the pistol ammunition, but never mind. It's always useful. I think I hear zombies. That door's locked. Interesting, the uh, blinds are apparently bulletproof. Stay tuned to local news media outlets for further details and information on this situation. I feel like the zombies are kind of a solved problem now. 
Um, <laughs> they're slow enough and shambling enough. That it, oh, that's a locked door anyway. Um, that it just takes sort of three or four blows from the L crowbar to get rid of them. And they don't seem to um, be particularly dangerous. So it's not really worth wasting ammunition on them at this point. There's a flare under there. I kind of want to use it on a zombie. Let's see if I can find some. Hey! Hey, over here! I need your help! One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. Gotta get that thing off before... Mm -hmm. Hey! Good news! Help just arrived. Wait! Uh, hey. That's not... <laughs> what the hell? Right. Get off of me! So I guess this is um, evidence, if evidence were needed, that the head crabs are creating the zombies by just sort of jumping onto the people's heads and then obviously taking over their higher brain functions or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do anything to help that guy. I sort of came down here as a... This looks like a way off to the side. Let's have a... Glug. But, yes, this restores some health. Excellent. Let's binge on um, soda soda. <laughs> Alright, there's an achievement for this. I'll carry on. <laughs> Maybe I'll speed this bit up for the... Oh no, it only seems to be on five. It doesn't seem to be growing. Alright, I'll stop... Drinking pop. Um, that said, looking back here, I don't think there is anywhere else to go. Okay, let's carry on. Stop muttering about um, trying to min-max the levels. So I can't get, I can't go that way because the zombie's not going to let me through. Let's see if I can use this ladder without falling off. Hooray! That feels like an achievement <laughs> using a ladder properly. <laughs> I really am having issues with the ladder physics in this game. That zombie up there is very distracting. I keep hearing it and wondering if there's another one. This is a... yeah, this is a... Uh, jump. There we go. One of the easier jumping puzzles at that point. The battery. Excellent. That's not an opening door. Where can I go from here? Maybe I am meant to be up there. Maybe there is a way through. I don't, I don't see anything else to do down here. Or up here. Definitely can't open this door. Can't get that zombie. Can I get in there now? Those don't look like the right sort of air ducts. They're, yeah, they're far too thin. Um, platforming on these pipes, maybe? Oh, there's a door up there. But no, that's another locked one. There's a hole in the catwalk there for getting up there, but no, I don't think that'll work. Can I get in here? No. Oh, can I get... No, no can't do that. <laughs> There's no ladder here, so I can't get up there. And as I said, that's a locked door anyway, so there's no point in sort of faffing around with boxes and trying to get up there. I thought it was Portal that was meant to be the game where you spend all your time trying to work out where to go. Well, if I can't work this out, this is going to be a rather dull episode. <laughs> I'm sure I must be missing something really obvious, like another door or something like that. I wonder if I was supposed to shoot that and then the um, security guard would let me through. If so, that's a bit of a <laughs> problem. I mean, this isn't one of those old-fashioned Sierra adventure games where if you forget to give the feed the uh, save the rat rat from the cat at the beginning of the game, you can't complete it because you need the rat to let you out of the prison in the twelfth episode or something. At least I don't think it is. There shouldn't be random things that stop you completing the game because you missed something earlier. I just feel there must be something in this room that I can open or push or trigger or activate something and. That look the door makes a clonk noise whenever I run into it. There's no visible padlock, and I don't remember this game ever having beat up the door type puzzle to get through. And that doesn't seem to do anything. Let's go back a bit, see if I can find anywhere else to go. I'm not going to be able to get through there because there's the magical 
solid wood window blinds going on. Oh, I've not been in here. I could believe this is actually, this could be a jumping puzzle. Trying to sort of... <laughs> playing the floor is lava, but the floor is electrified. That seems quite likely. There we go, now I can climb into the um, air ducts again. Ha, saw that one in time. And that one. It's the old classic Half-Life experience, crawling around in a duct with, um, oh, joy, um, with head crabs leaping out at you from every corner. I want that battery. Need more armour. Okay, I'll admit it, that one got me a bit. <laughs> uh, no, nothing in here, just a dead scientist. And no real obvious reason why he's dead. He looks like he's flung backwards extremely hard against that wall, I think. I don't know, I'm not Dexter, I don't do blood spatter analysis. What about in here? No, I don't see any valuables. Ah. Okay. So, ah, oh, right, there's a, that's a ladder, so I can get back up there. Is this where I... No, this isn't where I fell through, this is somewhere else. Oh, there's that battery I saw. Excellent. Power twenty-five percent. What the? Ah, I was not expecting to be attacked by. Right. Detected. Yay. Yeah, that turret definitely doesn't like me. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, that was alarming. I wonder what happened to that scientist? Um, I think I missed an area. I'm going to go back. I mean, it was nice of that turret to take out those headcrabs for me. It was less nice of it for it to take out me as well. There's a medipack up there. If I can turn off this turret, that will let me get up there and heal. That'd be quite nice. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, this feels remarkably large for an area that was off the, off to the side, as it were. Um, well, this has just brought me back to here again. Okay. I still want to try and get past that turret somehow, in order to get the, um, in order to get to the, no, that's not the way to turn it off, in order to get to the medikit. Can I shoot it? Ow. I can, but it can shoot me better. If I die to that, I will not be impressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's doing any real damage. Ah, there's an on-off button there. I bet that turns it off. Not to lift. Okay. Right, so the turret has a, um, a giant blind spot directly underneath it that enables me to get back most of the health I lost trying to get to the, trying to get to the medikit. <laughs> Great. Ooh, but there's a... Ah, I bet that turns the turret off. Yes, there we go. 
Right, okay. So, <laughs> through all that, I lost about, I don't know, probably about 50% health to the turret and then got 30% of it back when I went up there to the, um, uh, to the medikit, uh, medi stage, whatever you want to call those things. I hear shooting. I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Hey, he's got uh, a magnum. I want that. first. I think that door's locked. Yeah. Excuse me. Another thing called motion. Let's get a little bit of that going. I'd feel a lot better if you reloaded. So, so much sass from a security guard. Keep moving, he says, when I'm busy gunning down um, head crabs. Oh, that one. I really can't tell with head crabs when they're dead or not. Does it look cooler if I hold my gun like this? <laughs> yes, mate. Much cooler. Oh, that's good. Needed that. Happy trails, you poor bastard. Quiet. I hear something. It could be help. Sounds like a scientist. Oh shit! Not good. I got you. No. Oh. No. Well, I tried to be a hero. Holy shit! You said that it, mate. tore them to pieces. I don't think we should stick around. Watch out for those little buggers. Well, his loss is my gain, I suppose. Not that I've got very much ammunition for the ma for the Magnum. It's good against his Vorticons, so. Makes you wonder, actually, if I, if it was be poss if it's if his death was basically scripted and there's no way to save him. Not quite as powerful as I thought, actually. I thought it was one shotting them, but I think it's actually two shotting them. And they'd all just been weakened a bit. I am running very low on health. And I'm stuck in this doorway because of that chair. <laughs> the joys of the source physics engine. I still feel like I want to use these flares, but you can't carry them around with you and then light them when you need them. Oops, crap was on there. Oh yeah, I was going to use the crowbar for those, wasn't I, to save ammunition? Never mind. I only killed that to see if I could get through that door. Alright, it seems to be a dead end at the moment. Which probably means I'll come back round that way again later and come back in there. But, still. Nope. Oh, crap. <laughs> yes, I actually leant to the side as I ran away from that. <laughs> it's a sign of a good game though, really, isn't it? When it can convinces you to 
move yourself in real life rather than just using the controls. I think I can use these for cover. I suspect not. They don't look like they're strong enough. I heard a head crab. Where is it? Seriously, where is it? That'll be where the head grab is. So, <laughs> again, I'm on a, on a ladder. I can move 360 degrees, and he's holding, and he's holding the gun with both hands. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, looks like I'm going in the right direction. I wonder what that achievement was for. Was it just for getting getting a certain distance through the game? I don't know. That's a big hole I could probably fall down. Let's try not to. See that. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Got them terrifying. I don't know that non crowbar wood as opposed to the other sort of wood which you can crowbar. I have a feeling that lift is about to do that. <laughs> right, okay, so I guess the order of the day is to go through here and try and get up there so I can go down that ladder and go through where the lift has just cleared an opening for me. Let's try that. Well, this seems to be taking me the wrong way. It must just be a long way around. What's this security guard doing up here? Yeah, let's just turn the turrets off. They're never a good idea. Well, that's not quite true actually. They're very useful when there's enemies around. Like those head crabs. Are they alive? Yes they are. There we go. Do they actually bounce off each other on the way up then? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Is this somewhere I've been? I don't think so. I think this is a new area because there's a zombie over there. Is there anything down here, though? This feels like... Oh, was this, this is where I... No? No. I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Oh, good. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. Oh, good. The army's come to rescue us all. Isn't that nice of them? Perhaps you should ready more bullets? How can everyone tell that I've not reloaded for a few minutes? <laughs> right. I, had a, I hit a loading bit coming down these stairs. Which... I'm metagaming slightly here, but that makes me think that there was something through here I, that's optional and, may, and maybe worth picking up. And therefore makes you want to check out this area before going down the stairs. Also, there's that zombie I haven't dealt with. There we go. Yikes. Help. 
Yeah, I'm not very impressed with the revolver. I thought that was supposed to be a massively powerful mag... Oh, there's a box there. I should blow that up. Um, yeah, I thought it was meant to be a massively powerful magnum type thing. It would just blow most of this sort of tier of enemies away with a single shot. Hey, what are you still doing down here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. Go, go, go! Here comes more of those things! Whoa, it's a lot of them. Everybody back home is gonna believe this. What the hell would you even call this thing? Zombies? The hunch. I think I just got a promotion. That's what I get for leaving him to do all the uh, shooting to save my ammunition. And I'm running very low on health. This area would better be worth it. I'll stick around out here while you go check things out. Don't get too lost, huh? <laughs> I shall try. Yeah, have one of these. Ammunition depleted. Okay, the revolver's good on zombies. Ah. Oh, really needed that. Okay, I'm not about to die now, that's good. Maybe there's some more medical packs in here. Some more ammunition as well, perhaps. Oh, probably more zombies. What's she running from? Am I just being a terrible shot? I mean, I could believe it. Doesn't look like it. Why does he come with me and unlock stuff? The thing not seem to work. There it is. Ah. Minor laceration. This area is huge. I don't remember any of this from the from the original. Whole new giant fridge area for um flooring. Tight fridge area full of head crabs, of course. I see you. Ooh, that's one of those bull squid things. Uh, this is probably the best weapon I've got. Ow. Okay, they're not actually that tough. They just have crazy powerful spit. Am I going around in circles yet? Yes. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling this is one of those load you up open? I was going to say, why do I feel a like this is one of those load you up before the boss fight sequences? But it doesn't seem to be. 
because I couldn't get through that door. Unless that's what the scientist is for, who I've now lost again. Here she was. The E to interact with the science team thing doesn't seem to work. Maybe there's nothing for us to do here. Okay, well that was a bit of a, a diversion. There didn't seem to be anything at all in there, which is interesting. I sort of expect... I suppose there was a, um, a health thing at the end of it. Maybe that was it. I'm actually looking at the time. I think I've never been playing this for long enough. I was my intention was to try and create a roughly half hour episode this time unlike the first episode which was an hour and I've now been playing for about 40 minutes so I think that's probably a good time to stop uh, especially as my gun appears to be glowing purple so thank you for watching I hope you'll join me in the next um, in the next episode where we'll um, carry on exploring this area and see where it takes me thanks for watching any idea of how many of our crew have died <laughs>